This guy over here uh, woke me up. Look at that. Windy and very cold. No shelter. Good morning. I can barely open my eyes. Um, this is where I slept last night. It's like a gar pitch kind of a thing. So, you know it was raining last night, or it was supposed to rain a little last night. I'm so done with getting wet. My shoes are absolutely soaked. Um, I've got plastic bags. I'm just using plastic bags around my feet. Luckily, I have them so that I don't get my feet like real wet again. Shoes are soaked got drenched yesterday I did not want to put a tent up and for my tent and stuff to get wet after I just spent the day before drying it uh, when I heard some rain last night I felt so good to be sat in under this shelter I just had the sleeping bag rolled out and I had my pillow there my head on the pillow and that's how I slept that was my first time in all my camp and I think where I actually slept. No tent, just like sleeping bag and pillow. It was pretty decent. I forgot to show I forgot to show you. Um I ended up taking it on my on my phone, iPhone or whatever. Uh you know, just the pillow, the sleeping bag. Yeah, you get you get the idea. That's how I slept. It's like eight AM right now. Uh I don't know how many hours I got, maybe six and a half, seven. I'm pretty tired, but like, uh, you know, I was waking up and stuff as well, as you can imagine. This guy over here uh, woke me up with whatever he's doing, cutting the grass. He hasn't come over though. I don't, To be honest, I don't even know if he's seen me. Like, it's quite inconspicuous when you just lay flat down there. It's not like it's a whole tent. Anyways, I'm in Balina Mayo. I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's meant to be like raining until 11. You can see right now the clouds are a little bit, uh, and I'm not in the mood for getting wet, but after they're gone, that should be the end of the rain. I'm gonna at least cross over this pitch, which I wasn't supposed to be allowed to walk across, and uh, my bike is just across the way there. I'm gonna do that. Um, before anyone else comes, let's go. I've successfully crossed from there to here without being seen by that guy over there. Maybe, maybe he's seen me already this morning when I was sleeping. But whatever. At least I'm on this side. I'm not being seen across the pitch. Um, you're not allowed down down in this part. The dugouts are for players and management only. It says on that sign, but I'm not too much in harm's way here. It's It's raining again, as you can see. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going near that man. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat some food. It's supposed to clear up today, which I'm so happy about. Like, man, I think one thing that this, these adventures teach you is patience. You just have to wait, you have to ride that rain out. I don't know what I'd do if it was constant, that'd be so miserable. But anyway, first stop. Hill Alaki, right here. First little stop, I've been going for a bit, I don't know for how long, maybe 40 minutes, I've been cycling. Nice cycle, nice day, feeling better today. Cool little round tower over there. And uh, I'm gonna tip on to the next point, and that's when I'll actually take a break, so this is just hopping off the saddle, showing you what it looks like. Move on to the next spot, all right. I stopped and I made some beans and eggs. Wash me pot here in the water. And uh, yeah, look at that first pot. Lovely. Just sitting here. I killed a good bit of distance there this morning, so uh, it's nice, you know. I'm just kind of sat here, not rushing myself, sat here for about an hour or whatever. And uh, yeah, then we'll tip on to Down Patrick Head, which is going to be very cool, I was told. So, yeah, let's go see what that looks like. I just took a swim in here. It's a nice little spot uh, around the corner from where I was chilling. So I've been out here for uh, huh, a couple of hours. 
in total. It's time to move on. Got the down Patrick head. Let's bounce. Alright, look at this for a beauty. Down Patrick head. Started off here just to show you these cliffs down here and then I'll reveal down Patrick head look at that brilliant isn't it what a beauty and look at them cliffs wow it'd make you dizzy crazy place crazy ground look at it Look at the ground, it's all like, boing. Look, all bumpy and stuff. It's pretty funny. Crazy thing about Ireland is just like, you know, look at that, like, you know, you're right in the edge there. There's no room for error. One wrong footstep. Good night. Have to be careful, because so many people in this country do lose their lives for the sake of a selfie in places like this in Ireland what well, uh, incredible views the sky's getting a bit darker my direction is in here and around here and way out to the mountains up and over the mountains we'll see how far we get whoa look man nearly fell off a cliff see that now Fuck go in there. See you later. Alright. Um, let's go. Alright, alright. I don't know how long it's been, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes of good cycling, feeling good. Look behind me. Look at this. Crazy structure. Which they're naming it uh Katie Fields Neolithic site. Pyramid structure, and if you haven't seen the views yet, look at that. Look at that cattle right there at the edge. Don't slip, boys. Uh, yeah, and I've came from that sea stack, as you can see down Patrick Head across the way, 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 way out there. Cycled in whoop, and around, and look at them clouds out there. You can tell it's trouble, but I've dodged it. You can see even rain out there. And look at these beautiful skies. Which way is the clouds moving? Uh, I can't even tell they're moving so slow. I think yeah, they're coming this way. So, and it looks not too bad in that direction. So, let's carry on. Back into the Gale Tucked. This Gale Tucked in County Mayo. On Gale Tucked. Irish speaking region in Ireland, one of the Irish speaking regions up there as you can see, I know the sun's in our way but I have to go through that gap in the mountains up there, let's give that a go. Alright folks, I've smashed about 80 kilometres today and now I am at, hey look, shelter, beautiful, I'm in a school, I don't think the school start back up yet but if I can get an early sleep I can be I can be gone by here, or relatively early. Um, but I don't think the schools are back yet, so I'm cool to sleep here. Schools are gems if you want shelter. They always usually, usually have this right here, some type of shelter in the, yard, in the yard. What a brilliant spot to camp. So I'm in here, I've got a little bit of shelter. It's not supposed to rain tonight, and I cycled like way out onto this peninsula, like 45 minutes and then you have to cycle the same back to join the route again but um, I've only three kilometers to go to get to the edge of the peninsula which I'm not doing tonight because it's like on top of cliffs and that'll be windy and very cold and no shelter so I'm here I'm gonna cook some Mexican rice and eggs and I'm gonna go to bed covered about 80 kilometers today so when uh, I ripped it out of it and I'm happy I feel good so, um, peace out. So the tent is fairly wet. I'm just soaked to the bone and I'm cold and it's not meant to be looking up. I'm in big trouble. 
Good morning everyone from the back of this church. 